Want to try out a new character build, but the build doesn't explain where you get the gear? I'm Benevolent Bodie, and I'm here to help. While the game has been good at introducing new features to the game to help new players, the Skills Advisor, for example, does not recommend equipment, enchantment, potions, or food. There are over 150 gear sets in the Elder Scrolls Online, and this list keeps growing. Determining an optimal gear configuration for your character can be overwhelming. Do not worry. There are several good Elder Scrolls Online theory crafters who publish builds for the community. At the bottom of the screen, I have a link to my collection of recommended theory crafters that I have gathered over the years. If I've missed one of your favorite build creators, please shout them out in the comment section on YouTube. While most guides are clear on the name of the gear and their recommended inventory slot, the guides often assume that the viewer will know how to farm the gear. After reviewing some build suggestions, you'll need to know where to find the gear you need. In this guide, I explain where you can farm dungeon sets and monster sets. For group dungeon information, I recommend the UESP, the unofficial Elder Scrolls Pages website. It lists all the gear sets, identifies the group dungeons, and provides useful maps. Okay, while you look up the dungeon set information on the website, I will provide a quick summary of group dungeons. 1. Group dungeons are designed for 4 players, and there are 3 difficulty levels, Normal, Veteran, and Veteran Hard Mode. 2. They are introduced by the Undaunted Guild. Grouping using the Group Finder are unlocked at different levels. Dailies are offered after Adventure Level 45 and Undaunted Currency can be used to buy gearboxes from special vendors. 3. Each group dungeon offers 4 gear sets. Light, Medium, Heavy, and a Monster Set. Next, let's discuss where each piece drops. There are 4 monster types in a group dungeon. 1. There's the miscellaneous mobs, affectionately referred to as the trash. These have a slight chance of dropping sets. 2. There are the minor bosses. These drop hands, waist, feet, and unique items. Unique items are just named variants of the items above. 3. Regular bosses. These drop chest, shoulder, head, legs, and unique items. Note, the headpieces that drop off of these mobs are of the dungeon sets, not the monster set. 4. Final bosses. They drop jewelry, weapons, shield, unique items, and headpieces for the monster sets. Your best chance of a monster set head drop is on veteran or veteran hard mode. Overwhelmed with information yet? Well, here are 4 final notes that you need to know. 1. Gear can be obtained from treasure chests. They have a slight chance of dropping sets, and this chance increases with the difficulty of the chest. You can also increase your chance of a drop from a chest with the champion point passive Treasure Hunter. This is found in the green craft tree. 2. Dungeon difficulty. It makes a difference to the quality of the items you get on normal you'll get superior, that's blue, and on veteran, you'll get epic, which is purple. 3. The Undaunted Vendor When you complete pledges for the Undaunted NPCs, you'll receive some keys. These keys can be used to purchase shoulder pieces that are obtained from the boxes that they offer in their special store. There are two boxes. There is the Mystery Coffer for one key, and the Dungeon-specific boxes for five keys. These boxes provide shoulder items in a random weight and trait, excluding Nernhold, in the sets identified in the tooltip. The list at UESP will identify which vendor offers the boxes for the sets you are interested in. 4. The Golden Vendor The Golden Vendor appears on the weekend. His offerings are random except for during Midyear Mayhem. He sells items for gold and alliance points. 
If you buy with gold, the trait will be infused. If you buy with alliance points, the trait will be impenetrable. One of the challenges with farming group dungeons is finding a group and battling the RNG of getting the preferred geared drop. One of the best times to farm a group dungeon to find a group is when it is offered as a daily pledge or during the month when its style page has a chance to drop off the final boss. You can find out the next time your group dungeon will be a pledge by checking out my ESO calendar or the pledge specific calendar on my website. One final note, I want to discuss ways to future-proof your build against changes to item sets. Changes to the abilities and gear sets often occur at least once a year. Sometimes the developers take gear in a completely different direction. To reduce the need to farm gear at later dates, the devs developed the sticker book. Any gear you deconstruct gets added to the sticker book. You can reconstruct items from the sticker book by using transmutation crystals as needed. In closing, here is a useful graphic summarizing the gear grind process discussed in this video. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching! If you didn't take notes, you'll find a link to the written guide on my website at benevolentbody.ca down below in the description. What did you think of the video? Did you smash the like button or post your comments below? Until next time, take care and keep playing video games.